really got to make it you know, hard for them. You got to make them make shots uh, and just shoot over contested hands. I mean, that's the best you can do. And what makes this senior class so special for you all? Um, just the fact that we stuck by each other's sides for four years. Uh, we have our own personal battles or whatever the case may be, whether it's on the court or off the court. Uh, just the ability we are able to, you know, stick by each other's sides, uplift each other, and just tell us to keep pushing. And so when you watch Iowa on uh, film, what fans I see about their offensive performances? Um, I mean, they know what the coach wants. They know what each other wants. Um, they, took, they take great shots. They don't uh, too much force anything. So, I mean, they're a well-rounded team. Do you personally know any of the Iowa players? Uh, not really, no. What's your, uh, what's your go-to stop when you get back to the Quad Cities? Um, Whitey's ice cream. Uh, it's only in the Quad Cities. To me, it's the best ice cream ever. Uh, I agree. So probably that, yes. Um, just in general, you come from the Midwest, you go down to the South. Um, obviously, it's worked out in a lot of ways, but just what was that adjustment process like? Um, um, really, it just started with being so far from home. I think it's like 14 hours, so I mean, it was that. Um, just being away from the little brothers, it was really just a separation between family, but other than that, um, I mean, the weather change was amazing. You don't have to deal with uh, like 10 feet of snow every winter, but it was really the weather that got me and it kind of saved me from uh, thinking about you know my family as much. So when you tell your teammates about what happens back in, in the Midwest winter-wise, what do they say? They probably think I'm like telling lies and I'm like no like the snow gets up to here like you can't even open your door and they're probably just thinking I'm lying or I'm being over exaggerated. Earlier this week Don was saying that like you guys on this like quest to a perfect season haven't needed that wake up call that your guys' wake up calls came over the last few seasons. Which of those losses that you guys have taken, you haven't taken many, but like which one do you feel like taught you the biggest lesson or maybe acted as the biggest catalyst for what you guys have been able to do this year? I think the two biggest for me was definitely, you know, my sophomore year in the final four, of course, just because it was more of a like rude awakening, like you gotta be ready at all times and then of course uh, the SEC championship game, uh, kinda you can't yeah, you can't take your, your foot off the, the gas. You gotta be ready at all times, no matter who you play, you can't overlook anybody. So definitely those two things. I mean so often players will say, Oh I have a twenty four hour rule or something for losses, but you guys so rarely lose. Yeah. How long did those losses stick with you guys? Do they still stick? Um, for me, uh, like those two, I'll think about them every now and then, especially if like we're in tight games and I'm just thinking like, see, we shouldn't have, you know, relaxed. We shouldn't have uh, let them get the first punch. So those are really the only instances. But I think we're really good with like turning the page and not really thinking about it as much. When, when you watch Kaylin as you know, an opponent versus just, you know, maybe on social media or something like that. What what really has stuck out, you know, now that she's, you know, part of the game plan? Yeah, um, just how, you know, she's a well-rounded player, uh, very level-headed, uh, sees everything. Um, she's a great player all around. It's fun. She's a fun person to watch. So, I mean, when you're playing her, you just got to understand you got to make it hard. You got to make it hard for her. You got to make her shoot over our length, our size, uh, and you got to definitely take advantage of her when we're on offense as well. Just how much pride, I guess, do you take in, in going against her and, you know, trying to be the one that, that takes, you know, takes care of her? Um, for me, it's just like, no matter who I'm guarding, I, it doesn't feel good to get scored on. So whether it's her, whether it's, you know, uh, me being switched down to a four player, whatever the case may be, I, it just doesn't feel good regardless. But I think, you know, when it comes to her, the weight of that responsibility is on everybody. Because uh, uh, whether we switch, whether, you know, somebody gets stuck and we have to switch, uh, it's that person's responsibility as well. Has that been emphasized that, you know, it's going to be a team-wide effort to, to contain her? Yeah, it's just really, uh, we hold each other accountable for playing disciplined defense. So we definitely hold each other uh, to that standard.